Next question is from Griff378. When taking a protein shake before bed, do you think casein really provides more benefits due to its slow, slower digestion rate than whey? This is funny. This yeah. is, I felt like we used to talk about marketing. Well, yeah. we used to talk a lot about questions. Like, we, yeah. we don't normally pick yeah. these questions anymore. So it's good that you brought it back up because uh, I, I felt like we beat it to death uh, early on. Uh, and like four years ago. Yeah. A long well, time. So, so, here, so, here, so I used to do this when I was a no, kid. So did I. When I was a kid, I was I need oh I need to have all the protein in the world, mm -hmm. and I would have shake right before bed. I'd actually set an alarm to wake me up so I could wake up in the middle of the night and drink a shake. And okay, so let's forget the casein versus whey debate here for a second for before bed. I'm gonna ask a question: Do you think sleep plays a role in muscle building? Okay, the answer to that is yes. Sleep plays a very important role in muscle building. In fact, if you don't have optimal sleep, you will not build uh, muscle in the optimal way. It's just a fact. Sleep is very, very important for overall health, but it's also important for the muscle building process. Okay, we have a circadian rhythm that our body has a circadian rhythm, and it uses various signals to tell us when it's time to fall asleep. One of them is light. If you are in bright lights right up until you go to bed, it might take your brain about an hour to register that the lights are out, and now we can start to sleep. So studies show that when people turn out the lights an hour before bed, that they get better sleep than if they're in bright lights. And this is because we evolved this way, right? The sun comes down, less and less sunlight. Eventually, it's dark. The brain is now prepared. We go and get really, really good recuperative sleep. But there are circadian rhythms in other parts or other signals that, that tell the circadian rhythm if it's time to go to bed or not and other parts of the body. One of them is your digestive system. If I eat food, that digestive process tells my body, believe it or not, it's time to be awake. It's not time to go to sleep. So we're, it's, this is like one of those things where we're, we're like uh, cutting our nose off to spite our face. I need protein to build muscle, so I'm going to interrupt the one of the most important things that I, should, I, I could be doing to build muscle, which is get good sleep. Yeah. So taking a shake or eating right before bed is not a good idea in terms of having good sleep, which then contributes it's just to not muscle ideal. growth. I wouldn't, not I wouldn't, ideal. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's not, because here's the thing too, because the, the argument or devil's advocate with that is, oh, okay, well, if somebody is not hitting their calorie intake or not hitting their protein intake before bed, I would advise to have that, right? If you were, uh, if you were very, if you were, uh, let's say you're a 200 pound male trying to build muscle, and man, you just had a hundred hundred gram protein day, and it's should I take Sal said don't you, it's not ideal to take a shake at ten o'clock before bed. Well, that person is so low on their protein intake, the benefits that you'll get by adding that probably trump maybe may, yeah maybe you're maybe, right. I mean another 30, 40 grams of protein that then will interrupt sleep and prevent mm. you know the, the it may be it may be negligible it may be it may yeah. it may be negligible right mm -hmm. but so it, so I don't think it's it's necessarily uh, fair to say it's like a bad idea to eat at night. It's just. This this question it screams like splitting hairs doesn't matter waste of time like even discussing it and worrying about it it's just it's purely a another uh, marketing ploy that supplement companies have done a great job it's just what we do what we tend to do is we tend to eliminate the value of everything else we do mm -hmm. and we only value lifting weights and taking in protein and so if it interrupts sleep that's okay it's like oh yeah oh my god if I if I go to bed right now I'm only gonna get seven hours of sleep, but I need to lift weight. So I guess I'll get four hours of sleep so I can get a really hard workout. Mm -hmm. You just killed yourself. You know, yes, you're lifting weights, build muscle. You rob Peter to pay Paul. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so no, the, okay. The idea is not to have food right before you go to bed. You should have your last meal at least two hours before you go to bed. It makes a big difference. Studies support this. Okay. But let's, let's forget all that for a second. The question is, is casing better than whey because it digests more slowly when you go to sleep? No, no, it's st stupid. That's a dumb. Yes, it does digest slower, but that's not gonna. It's not gonna make a big difference just because you're not eating. Throughout I mean, the night. when it comes to building muscle, there's already been plenty of studies that support that nothing is better than whey, right? Whey is the best. Protein. Whey is the best. Right? If you're gonna, if you, if if you, you can, take a protein, it is right. the whey. If you can handle it and you don't have digestive issues with it, like someone like you. You know, nothing is more superior than a whey protein. Right, right. And in terms of like, uh oh, I'm not going to have food for eight hours because I'm sleeping. That means I need to have amino acids trickling into my bloodstream to build muscle because if I don't have protein all the time, I'll lose muscle. False. Yeah. You can fast during the day for six hours and not lose any muscle. You can fast for 24 hours mm -hmm. and not lose any muscle. So this is all 
100% protein powder marketing where they got you to buy whey, yeah. they closed you on whey. Now they're like, wait a minute, how do we get, how do we, because yeah. when you get milk, by the way, milk is whey and casein. So they take the whey off the milk and now you're buying all that. And they're like, what do we do with this extra protein? How are we going to spin this? Oh, I know. Casein digests slower. Oh, right before bed. And it's ritualized. It's before bed. So now you can take it right before bed. Yeah. We know you're going to use it all the time. I fell for this. Yeah. I had whey protein for my workouts, yeah. casein for, pre, for before bed. And then collagen. And then, exactly. Yeah. And then throw that you in there. Yeah. 